Hey guys, what is going on? Lego Man 1, 2, 3, and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be taking a look at some new Lego Harry Potter set images for 2024. So without further ado, let's get into it. And to start things off, we have Lego Harry Potter Buckbeak set 76427. And don't get me wrong, this set is definitely unique. However, unlike Hedwink, Forks, and Dobby, I just don't think Buckbeak works well enough to be a buildable figure. Because unlike those buildable figures, this just doesn't feel immediately recognisable. I'm not sure if it's the design of it, but it just seems a little off to me and it also does look a little creepy. Then we have a set that I would never expect Lego to create and that is the Lego Harry Potter Mandrake set 76433. And although it's a unique set and definitely something I was never expecting to see, it just doesn't feel necessary to include a character that we only saw once and that was in the Chamber of Secrets. However, you could argue that the buildable Buckbeak is also a unnecessary inclusion. However, I would definitely consider his role to be a lot more important in the Prisoner of Azkaban than the Mandrakes in the Chamber of Secrets. And Buckbeak's also immediately recognisable and definitely more iconic than a Mandrake. Then we have the Lego Harry Potter Hogwarts Castle Potions class set 76431. And this is once again a unnecessary set to include and that is because we did get one of the Harry Potter books dedicated to a potions class. Because the books had an interesting and unique concept, but to now go against that and create a potions class set, it just feels as if the books are now pointless, as they could have just gone that route the entire time instead of actually creating the books. Then we have Lego Harry Potter Aragog in the Forbidden Forest set 76434. And although it's nice to see updated versions of Aragog and Harry and Ron from the Chamber of Secrets, it just feels like an unnecessary set because we have already gotten a set which in my opinion is a little better than this one. Then we have Lego Harry Potter Hogwarts Castle The Great Hall set 76435. And although the minifig selection and the inclusion of the troll is spot on, the castle itself almost feels as if it's a micro scale compared to the original Great Hall, which was definitely a lot more bigger and almost realistic like compared to this one. And it's 100% understandable why that's the case and that's due to the fact it has a rock structure underneath and I'm excited to see what the significance of that is. Will it have any play features or any little fun Easter eggs within it? Then we have Lego Harry Potter Ollivanders and Madame Malkin's robe set 76439. Although Ollivanders is immediately recognisable and a key location within Harry Potter, it's understandable why they want to recreate it every now and then. And with that said, this is the third rendition of Ollivanders we are getting and it's disappointing because with so many other shops within Diagon Alley, by continuously getting Ollivanders over and over again, it goes to show that the possibility of getting other shops within Diagon Alley is very limited due to the fact that they primarily only focus on Ollivanders. And it's a shame because even without Ollivanders, this set works incredibly well as an expansion to Diagon Alley. But they could have most definitely included another shop because like the possibilities are endless to include brand new Diagon Alley shops we haven't seen before or just new updated versions of previous Diagon Alley shops. And finally, we have probably everyone's favorite set within this new wave of Lego Harry Potter sets, and that is the Triwizard Tournament, the Arrival set 76440. And that is to do with the Dawn Strange ship, and that is because the only other time we have gotten it was way back when the Goblet of Fire was first released. And to now have a version of it in 2024 is something I would have never expected. As for the inclusion of the Bo Batum's Academy carriage, it's a nice inclusion but unnecessary because we have already gotten a solo set dedicated to their arrival. 
And even without its inclusion, this set is still incredible because I love how they've been able to capture the unique and interesting design that the Domstrang ship has and how they've been able to create it so well that it is immediately recognizable. Out of all the Harry Potter ways we've gotten, I would definitely consider this one to be the weakest one due to the fact that most of the sets just felt unnecessary and just uncalled for due to the fact that we are getting three remakes of sets we have gotten in the past and those include the Potions class, Aragog's Lair and the Great Hall and without those sets it's starting to look like a better wave because I would love to see a Lego Harry Potter wave consisting of a whole branch of new sets and just stuff we haven't seen before within the Lego Harry Potter universe. But apart from that, I would definitely love to hear your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below because although it's a somewhat lacking and disappointing wave, it definitely does have some interesting sets and just stuff I would never expect to see. But as always guys, hope you guys did enjoy this video and I can see so goodbye!